Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the Shop. This is something I got that I'm too embarrassed to make a regular video on. They say this is 15 inches long. Huh? Liars? God, don't you hate when you get ripped off? This handle on this is 15 inches long, okay? Uh, nice hooker man in this, and I've tested this. I've been outside playing with it. It doesn't chop wood with or worth a. You can do this. It does not chop worth a hoot. You ever know? You ever wonder where I get all them sayings growing up around here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, but it does take bark off. It doesn't chop worth anything. But uh, maybe someday I'll make a custom head for this and put it in here. Just unbolt it. This is this is nicer stuff than what you think, even though it's plastic. Okay, this thing, phew, it's about 14 inches total. That's including going out to the very tip right here. Uh, We'll just put our thing on it. See, 12 inches. Well, how much do you think's left? It's not even two inches. It's barely 14. But I did run it through the work sharp sharpener. This is razor sharp. Okay, this I would like. I'm not going to show it on the video when it was dull. Uh, I don't think I could have kept my finger unless I sat there and chopped my finger with it. Kids, don't do what I'm saying there. Anyway, I should should stop and edit that out. No, heed my warning. It's just an expression. I run through the workshop thing and I went outside and beat them. You know what out of it. It will take off some bark. It doesn't notch worth anything because it does not. And I swore they lied about the weight. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh anything. It's just a cheap, it's just a cheap little bitty toy. But that is razor sharp. Well, you could stick that in a hunk of wood. Uh, this one's great for picking up firewood off the ground. Uh, like say it falls out of the pile. You know, I've been getting wood and some might fall off the pile. I took this out with me, slammed it in there, picked it up, and put it over in the wagon. Because I don't have to squat down, bend my knees, or bend my back. I had Sharpie marker on here for one reason when I got done. I smoothed this off. I wanted to see how far it would stick. So that's about the average it was sticking. With a good womp. This, it went that far. And that's hitting as hard as I could. I mean, I swung as hard as I could. And this is really uncomfortable. Uh, you could put some wooden handle scales on here, but I'm not going to do nothing with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I almost was tempted to chop this thing off square. Get your opinion. You dare me to do it? I was tempted to chop this off square like this, right? Put a little chisel edge and make a chipping hammer for welding. Don't dare me, because I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll make a chipping hammer out of it for welding. I said you'd have your little chisel edge and you'd have your pick. Uh, so it'd make a nice tool. Uh, but for twigs and stuff, I mean, I figured I would use this. I get branches that fall down, okay? Instead of getting out of a machete, I get branches that fall down and I process for killing one. This will chop the little twigs off the stick. You know, just grab this. And use it so that's just another quick review of that and we're off to something else we're kind of starved for content here this week but stay tuned we got one item we'll show you okay you want me to show you how I wrap this of course you do and why I leave that little extra there because you can take this back apart uh, don't wrap this real tight. It will snug up. And if you get a space, just keep pushing your space up. You know, keep closing your gap up. We'll show you how to do this, okay? Without even pausing. Here we go. It's pretty simple. Uh, I use about nine feet on that. Mall handling is going to use a lot less. This is all you do. Get your loop like this, okay? We're going to do this kind of fast, then just wrap it around. This is a cheap paracord. That other paracord is that uh, tough grid stuff, that 750 pound test paracord. See, you got it around like this, right? You can take your spaces up. This would be great on a mall handle because uh, it's so much easier to do. Okay, this is what you do, okay? Take a little bit out of there. Go ahead and loop this through here. Okay, got that loop through there. You see that? Then start pulling it. 
Now you're going to have to lift each one of these. See, you're going to have to kind of lift it to get it through. Lift it to get through. Now you can stop where you want. You could stop on this one like here. I went all the way up because I'll show you why. I just like the look of it. Keep pulling it up through there. Okay. Then you can take both ends and tighten them like that. You can take all your slop out of there. Okay. And see where that one is now. Which is the same as how this one comes around here. And there you go. Leave just a little bit, about an inch, and cut this off there. That way, if you want to re you, if you emergency situation, uh, you can just pull this back out. You can do this on camera. Take it out and take it off. I think you got the idea. It wasn't worth making a whole video on, so I figured I'd include it on Sunday in the shop. Uh, back to this real quick. You're all probably sick of it. Uh, this isn't the best edge. I made it for splitting now. I'm going to make something to go on here. This was sandpaper and everything. I mean, I went all out for the look. But what I did to file this was, is I had it whatever way I had it in the vise, okay? And I draw file this. Now draw filing is taking your file like this and pulling it and had this in the vise with my cardboard padded jaws or blowing out the camera this thing so bright. What I did is draw file, which is you pull like this. If you practice on something, get an old lawnmower blade or something and practice it because it's well worth it. Get your hand out here with a glove here and practice drawing this and you will shave a lot of metal off real fast. It sure beats going like this which is kind of hard to do on this. Uh, I was filing like this. Okay, then go in two different directions. And I was staying here. I had Sharpie marker on it. I took it off. That just confused me. Because uh, I can see the line. But practice your draw file. I will make a video maybe someday uh, just showing how to draw file with a file. You will shave a lot of metal really fast. I mean, you'll see little miniature curls of metal coming off there. So there you go on that. I said we're going to make some kind of uh, sheath on here. Something on here. This is just so you don't get hurt. Playing around with it. It's not razor sharp. Okay. Before I forget, uh, we're thinking about ordering some of this. They have some really big stuff. It's like a thousand pound test. It's like a buck a foot. And we're really actually thinking about buying a hundred dollars worth of it someday. Uh, you can make toe straps, pull a car. And if I do, I'll take a strand of it and hook it to my truck and pull it with my garden tractor sometime. But I want you to take a picture. You can find this. You can go to the company and buy it. Or you can buy it on Amazon. I don't get paid to show any of these products. I always put it in the description. But uh, we barely use this, you can tell. It's been in my supply drawer. Kind of forgot I had that stuff. But isn't it nice? You look how big it is compared to the other stuff. Now, this ain't too bad of cheapy stuff. But this has the real woven strands that you can take apart, not that fluffy junk. Uh, it has strands that's better than this. It's not like this. When you take this part, it's fluffy junk. This stuff has actual strands to it. Okay? And you can take those strands apart. Because it says 11 inner strands. Triple. So there's probably three of them. Uh, you can take three of them off there. You can actually use it for emergency survival fishing line. So... This is true military spec. They're not lying. I did a lot of research research on this. You can speak. You can do it. So, you got to trust me on that. I did a lot of research before I bought that. Do not ask me the price on it. It was worth what I paid for it. So, okay. On to another subject. I thought this was worth showing you. The paracord. The tough grid. 
You get 11 strands. This one's taken apart. See what that's they mean? 11 triple strands. You can take it apart. You can make fishing string on it. And this is an identifier. This this shows uh, the military that it's military grade or whatever code it is. Like say it's black and white. This probably means what test pound what pound test you can do this. Like say it's 750 pound. If you had probably a thousand pound, it's probably different. See that? That's an identifier. So there's 11 there. See, if you, you want to count these, I'm not going to count them. There's 11, and this one I took apart. So I said, you got fishing string right here. I'm not going to pull it apart, but it's curled. But you can make fishing string out of here. So you know that's tough enough to catch a fish. So enough of that. I figured that'd be of interest to show you that and what that identifier is. Because if you watch videos, you're going to see it. You're probably going to see it in the comments or something. Uh, but what's this strand? It's an identifier. You're getting the film. Okay, enough of that. Uh, you can tell we're just starving for topics. Uh, any suggestions on my Sunday in the shop videos? We're tired of cleaning wrenches. Uh, we've been having fun doing that axe project. Oh, here you go. Got me a Harbor Freight catalog and this is stuck to it they need to do this Rob. obviously you have to cut out coupons and I have several of these we keep some in the car for dusting off the dash uh, I just got another pack the other day I had a coupon so next time I go in I'll get another pack of them microfiber cleaning cloths they're nice they're nice for dusting off junk and working in the shop ain't that cool peel here just meant it was stuck to things so this don't peel off like a sticker but yeah not to promote Harbor Freight, but I saved the sticker off of the uh, axe and that. And I looked this up. I did a little research online. If it's that number, it was made in the USA. It had like a number that started with seven, one started with three. One of them was unknown USA or imported, and one was imported only on this company. So this one supposedly, because it says this number... That was made in the USA. You gotta watch stuff when you go to them stores. Uh, it might be assembled in the USA. So, we'll pause, we'll think of something else. Okay, several items. Don't ask what store I bought this at. Blown out the camera. This is 600 grit. It's not a bad sandpaper, uh, 3M. My favorite is that purple stuff made in Canada. I found Home Depot, uh, well the wet dry, it's probably uh, Oh, I don't know what grit it is. You can get it different grits, but it's what it's really nice sandpaper. I put it on that little machine I had with the disc on it. This is pretty good stuff. I test this on the uh, axe. It can glare. Uh, I don't like the package. See, see how it's all bowed up. How it just like it doesn't want to fit in here, right? But I can overlook that. This is from Harbor Freight. I'm not going to take any pictures. Uh, we got 500 grit. We got 1,000 grit. Okay. We got some 1,000 grit here. And we need to grab the other one. Let me reach behind me. And we got some 1,200 grit. So we're going to maybe do some little projects. Uh, we might do a knife or something this winter. And how many sheets? Pack of seven. These are like three bucks a pack. You can't pass that up. I mean, come on. This has five sheets. I bet I gave four or five dollars for this. For this brand. I bet you I gave four or five bucks for this. I know I did because I needed it one day for a project. But no, the package is kind of... You take it out and it's even curled. I might as well just rip one out of here. See that? See where it's curled? We can live with that. Like, come on. Make a box that fits it. You know that's what it is. You can see me trying to flatten it. Not going to complain, though. For that price. And remember, if you're trying to put make something flat, Remember, if you lay it on a sheet of glass, you ask a machinist, it is not perfectly flat. Uh, 
You need a surface plate or something like machine is used that granite plate or something if you really want to do some lapping on something. Uh, we'd like to find something like that for small projects. Uh, this. I done this one on a sheet of glass years ago. This piece. This is who knows what this was. It came out of the junk. It's probably part of a piece of machine or something. This has almost exact measurements this way. It's half inch, like by three quarters, I think. Or one inch or something. And this is a piece of copper left over from the copper jaws on my vice. That twenty dollar piece of copper. But this was playing around with the uh, disc sander with the little fine grit on it. But like I said, I got it in case I want to lap something. Uh, we'll try the, uh, let's just do the 1200. Let's just do it real quick on camera. Let's see what it looks like. Can you see the scratches and everything? It's not, we don't have it wet. It feels pretty good. So that's what I got it for. It's little projects like this. Who knows what I'm going to make. But yeah, I save doodads like this. I've had this for years. Found it some junk. You know it came off of something. And it's probably been a little bit longer than this before I polished it and shaped it. Do not believe what you could do with these little blocks. I'm sure that's a half inch that way and then whatever dimensions this way. One inch, this could be three quarters. And whatever thick. I had it measured uh, with my digital calipers one day. So, that's it for the week. So, thanks for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next week.